Hello, my name is Manisha Lat Gupta and I am the founder of Ananda Permaculture Project. I hope you have been watching all the episodes in our new series called Building with Lime and are now absolutely excited about including lime as a construction material in your building. If you are wondering where to get started, let's hear from Malvika Mehta who is the founder of M Lime on how to bring lime into your building. You can bring lime into your building as say a lime concrete, a lime plaster, a lime mortar, an internal or an external plaster, a lime surface finish on the floors, on the walls, on the ceilings. You can of course use it as a lime based paint or a lime wash. So it's, it's really actually comes down to a very simple principle. Just follow the hierarchy of construction. Following the hierarchy of construction, we started thinking about how to include lime in our building right from the word go. The first thing we did was made our foundations with stone and a mortar of lime, sand and burnt brick powder. Projects like Manisha's and a few others have also used lime in their footings, uh, you know, lime to make their uh, foundation beds and the lime to build their flooring beds and those are of course amazing because that then helps you regulate moisture as well at a deeper level within your building seepage problems in Manisha's building would be highly unlikely and of course you do not introduce any toxicity in the ground soil because every time you're pouring cement into it that toxicity does leach into your groundwater it leaches into your earth and so on. While most of the walls in our house are made of rammed earth, we chose to stabilize them with lime instead of cement. Most stone walls in our house are made with lime and sand uh, mortar and even the curved spaces in our house like the bathrooms and the stairwell where we've used brick masonry was done with a mix of lime and sand. Often you're not going to be in an ideal situation like Manisha doing a building grounds up you're going to find you've inherited a building shell. Maybe the big brickwork or the stone masonry is already erected. So how can we introduce lime in a partially built building or in a, as part of a composite material ecosystem where we're using part cement and part lime? If your building isn't plastered yet, but let's say the brickwork's already erected with cement mortar, no problem. You can directly do a fat lime sand plaster and then layer it with a lime based surface finish so that of course you're not choking or thwarting the breathability of your previously you know done plaster. Most of the walls in our house we did not find the need to plaster but wherever we have used plaster you know either to cover up our mistakes or to uh, bring a certain sort of uh, you know color and texture into the room we have plastered again with a mix of lime and sand. Even in our floors, the bedding mortar of our floors was a combination of lime, sand and ash. So for example, if you already got a cement sand plaster applied as a leveling and protective course over brickwork, um, don't go ahead and put a layer of lime sand plaster. Then instead go for a lime surface finish equivalent to a POP punning. So at M line we call them no paint punnings. So go apply a punning over a plaster. We've used a couple of different types of surface finishes to finish up our uh, walls and that wherever we did not need a water phobic surface, we've used a simple textured uh, or you know no paint punning. And then areas like the bathrooms, kitchens and the floors where we needed a water phobic surface, we finished them up with a polished lime surface finish. In external walls, like the kind right behind me, we've done a simple, humble lime wash, which helps to protect the walls from the elements. If you've already even got POP punning, you're inheriting a builder shell or so on, you've got paint and POP punning already done, but you want to renovate this space, I would still say, you know, scrape off the paint, roughen the POP and introduce a lime based punning and um, layer up your POP uh, and putty, billa putties with 
with line based punnings and line based surfaces so that you're living with at least some of those benefits of a no voc non toxic uh, surface and that will give you the benefit of thermal regulation as well so you don't have to be a purist but every time every layer that you're able to introduce sustainable materials is a win i always reiterate that sustainability is a journey it is not a destination having the attitude of either it's all or nothing will not hold us in good stead we must start including sustainable materials wherever we can in whatever we do so i hope this video inspires you to include lime in your building and bring it in whichever shape and form you can when you're building something of your own thanks for watching this video i do hope you found it useful and stay tuned for a few more videos to come